How's it going, everybody? Combo Headman here, playing some ATS. Um, cutscene. Never seen this cutscene before in ATS. So I started recording halfway through it. Attention, you're about to haul special transport cargo. I just bought the uh, special transport and the Oregon DLC. So this is a special transport, as you can see. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Oh, okay. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in a route advisory. Advisor. Special transport like this. Don't stop on red signals and have the right of way in most situations. What do you mean they don't stop on red signals? Like at a red light, I don't stop. Uh, during these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. Pay extra attention to the following. Avoid any possible conflicts with escort vehicles and keep the cargo between them. Do not drive out of estimated route, nor to filling stations, rest stops, etc. Obey speed limitations, which will ensure a uh, better front escort vehicle. Watch out for overtaking traffic and other drivers on the road. Change lane maneuver. One. Okay. One, and then I go. If you do not follow these rules, your special transport mission may fail. Okay, we're going to do our best. Now, I am using my controller. Nope. So I'm going to have to figure out Okay, that's to look around, but what's to No, that's to kill the truck. Damn it. All right, that's uh Okay, so I guess I got to Oh my god. Woo, this is sensitive. Okay. I would like to be able to I don't remember what my keys are for anything okay so 9 just changed that camera so that's pretty good that's just the cameras yeppers 1 is in cab I think I had 3, 4, 2 I had 2 I want a screenshot of this, but how do I get the mirrors out? Let's have a look, see a real a nice and quick key buttons. HUD controls show hide side mirrors on screen F2, root advisor modes F3. So it's going to be all the F's really. Uh, yeah, continue. Boom. Okay, F2, F3. There you go. That's what we wanted right here, boys and girls. Boom. This is going to be our uh, special cargo. That's work. So. And again, um, I don't play too often with my controller, so bear with me just a wee little bit. Now, where are my escort vehicles? Don't see them anywhere. This thing is massive. I don't know what my lights are. Hold on. Is these turning on my lights? Okay, we're good. Whew, this thing is heavy too. Now I did have a couple of games uh, saved. I don't know. Every time I seem to jump into ATS my save games seem to be gone for whatever reason 
So again, I just deleted another one that's too close. That's too close. Uh, you're gonna move copper? Yeah, that's what I thought. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. I got an escort. This is... Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, this is somewhat possible. Oh yeah, no problem. Everybody out of the way, special transport coming through here. This is cool. This is cool. I like it. What's the uh, speed limit here? 65? Yeah, we're not going to do 65. So we're just going to block the entire road because we are a special cargo. We're not going very far. Actually, we're going uh, 178 miles. It's still a three hour, well, I'm making almost four hour ride. I got no balls. No balls whatsoever. This is, uh, this is it. This is my speed. Which I guess I can't go any further than, any further, any faster than the copper in front of me anyway. Which I guess ends up being my escort. So, this is going to take a while. Yeah, I got to follow him. I don't know if I should be in this lane because it was very specific that I could not break the rules. Okay, Copper, come on, man. But this thing is so wide that, you know, yeah, might as well just go here. Now, I did borrow some money. I borrowed 400000 from the bank because I wanted to buy my own truck. But I went to the Kenworth dealership and the one that they had, well, the ones... I guess the one that was available to purchase wasn't the one that I wanted. So I'm still a beginner in the game. I used to have one, a save game that I've done a ton. And I was far in the game and I had garages and I had a lot of trucks on the road and this and that. And then it all has something to do with the mod. Either the mods got outdated or they just didn't work anymore and the save games wouldn't load anymore. So the game wouldn't work for me anymore. So I lost my progress so many times in that. So now I restarted a game. But the first three uh, episodes that I did were of a different game that I just can't find anymore. I assumed it was this game because I had to delete. I only had two games. I had to delete the other one, so I assumed that it was this one, but I don't own a truck in this one. And before playing tonight, I went back and I checked my recordings of the previous ones, and I had bought myself a truck. Maybe I just didn't save. That's quite possible. I may not have saved. Farmer! That is a crappy horn, man. That's your city horn. Hold on. What? That's your horn? That's gotta be fixed. I'd be I'd be totally down for a brand spanking new American truck simulator. American it's it's not old, don't I would love to have a 2019 one. Hundred percent better graphics, better trucks. I want more options with the trucks. I don't know if they only have um, <clears throat> licensing agreements with Kenworth and Volvo and Peterbilt if Volvo is even in here I'm not sure they are but I would love to see some Freightliner that'd be awesome I'd love to see some progress in the game as well I'd love to be able to have some paints some special paints for the truck and decals and what have you I'd love to be able to buy 10 trucks and awkwardly not awkwardly but randomly cross one of my trucks on the highway 
Stuff like that would be nice. So I think if uh, SCS would come up with a new ATS, a 2019 version, it would be extremely awesome. Even though I know they are working on this one a lot. So like I said, I just bought the special cargo, which I'm doing at the moment, which is this is just a big piece of tech equipment. And I just bought the Oregon DLC as well. I know... Um, the Washington DLC is coming out very shortly. I don't know exactly when though. Now, one of my previous games that didn't work anymore, I had one of the player mods from the workshop that was the coast to coast and I also had the Canada map. Well, those don't work anymore. So I can't play those anymore. So I know that they're working on the map and they're gonna be in the map. I really enjoyed having the coast to coast. It made for a long trip, but sometimes the long trip is better than just one little trip. Like this one here. This is a very short trip. So this is about a little bit over 200 miles. Gives me about $9,000. It's just a really short trip, which is fun once in a while. But other times you want to do that long trip, that long haul, or you want a lot of bang for your buck. I enjoy them both. I did put um, a mod that is real advertising, I believe is activated and uh, real US roads, I believe is activated as well. Now, this is all unexplored territory. I have no idea where we're going. All I know is there's a cop car in front of me and I have to follow him. I really enjoy this though. This is cool. This is an escort. This is, even though we don't get the speed or anything, this is still pretty awesome. We have the whole road to ourselves. We don't have to worry about absolutely anything. Nobody. We're not gonna hit no Priuses. Nobody's gonna hit us. That's it. There's a car in front of us. We have to follow it. I think I'm gonna do a lot of these actually. Probably going to do all of them, and it's going to be every every one of them will be a different recording because I don't want them all to be in the same recording because that's just going to freaking take forever. But I'm liking this. Yeah, I don't know where the escort is behind me, and to be honest, I don't want to look behind me. I can see that, but I, I want to keep an eye in front of me. I don't want to cause any kind of damage. Just keep the cargo between the escort vehicles. Oh, 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 okay. So, I do have to be on the one side of the road. Then, okay, so I'm just going to stick it on... Keep it close to the dotted line as much as I can. But I don't want to be too much on the right-hand side because, obviously, obstacles... Uh, road signs, what have you. I don't want to hit any of it. So there is obviously an escort vehicle behind me. Uh, holy crap, more. Yeah, two. No, one. Wait, what's this guy doing here? Wait a minute. Civilian traffic's pa trying to pass me here. Seriously, I thought they blocked off the whole highway. Well, geez louise. There I was, hogging the entire road. Yeah, that's a horn you can be proud of. Yeah. I'm proud of that freaking horde. Yeah, I'm hauling a huge, huge, huge wide load. Big enough that I need police escort, front and back. But, wait, wait for it. Oh yeah, that's our horn, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. Okay, we got 64 miles to go, an hour and 23 minutes in game. We are doing 40 miles an hour. Traffic is passing us like they don't care. But this thing could just light off my trailer and destroy their entire existence. I have this truck floored. And when I mean floored, it is floored to the ground. Whoa. Still feel like I'm catching up to the cop car though. 
Not sure if that's just me or what the deal is. I anticipate we are going to be hitting our destination very soon. Hello, copper. And uh, there's going to be some tight turns to be done. I didn't think we were going to make the first one. We did. Shocking to myself. Uh, hopefully we do all the other turns as well. Jesus, cop cars everywhere. Alright, I gotta hit the brakes. It's never a good sign. Come on, we got 50 miles to go. 50 miles. Come on. See, I've never been used to... I keep going fast and then having to br hit the brakes. I've never been used to a controller. I've never played with a controller in my life. I'm used to a keyboard where you press the key and you go. There's no feathering of the gas. There's none of that bull crap. It's, it's forward or reverse. That's it. But on a controller, I got to get myself used to the fact that I can actually feather the gas and just keep a steady flow of fuel going through the freaking injectors. And then we're gonna get to a snail pace. Yeah. This traffic shouldn't be allowed next to me. I am a reckless driver. Nobody should be allowed next to me. Okay, we are turning off. This is gonna be our exit. Oh, there's a car. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. Changeling is coming, adapt your speed to avoid possible crash. Well, trust me, I ain't gonna be crashing. Well, trust me, I'm hoping I'm not gonna be crashing. I'm supposed to follow his speed. I'm gonna freaking go as slow as I can here. I wanna. I want to hug the barrier as much as I can. Oh my god. Oh, come on, can work. You got this. What the fuck did I hit? I didn't hit that guardrail. What the fuck? I don't think so. No way in hell. That is bull crap. I did not hit that hand that guardrail. Damn it, make my perfect run not so perfect anymore. I don't know if my high beams are on the whole time. Like, can't you guys, like, move? Can't you guys give me, like, just a little bit of room? Like, what is this? What is, what is this? Well, seriously? How, how am I doing this without hitting that sign? Oh my god! Jesus! I don't know if I got damaged to the truck or trailer when I supposedly hit that guardrail. I swear, I did not hit it. You guys and girls saw it. I was feet away from it. Oh, well, that goes that sign. I want to take this one like this. I want to take this one just about like this. There's another cop car. Man, the cops are just everywhere here. I don't know where I am. Am I in Oregon? Come on! Oh my god, we got what? 13 miles to go, people. 19 minutes. 13 miles. We are almost there. I am not parking this thing where they want it. I'm just going to drop it at their front door. Whatever it is that you ordered, you can have it. You are being extremely useless to a locked gate facility. Was 
there. Six miles. I see it. I see a building in the horizon. Civilization. Yeah, move over. Yeah, that's right. Cops telling you to move. Move. I need the room. Okay. Time to stop playing games here. This, this is where it gets here. I'm not going in there. Are you kidding me? You want me to make this turn? Oh my sh... Alright. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this turn. You're gonna make me hit that guardrail, but I'm gonna make this turn. Come on. You got this. Yeah, make it tight. Make it tight. Yeah. Just like that. Oh. Didn't have to be that tight. Alright, where do you want this thing? Santa Maria. Where we go? All the way in the back. Oh, we got the we got the news. Yeah, the news crew's here. Watch this. Watch this. I don't know if it's gonna do it every time, or is it just because it's the first time that I'm actually doing the load? What's up, everybody? What's up? Here's your piece of equipment to skip. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna skip that one. I'm actually gonna bring it here if that's where they want it. That's not a problem. I can bring it here. This is easy peasy. Uh, button A, where's A down here? Oh, now it's button Y. Alright, there you have it. Achievement progress. Big in America. One of 11. Achievement unlocked. Size does matter. We did 189 miles. It took us 6 hours and 33 minutes. We consumed 40.2 gallons. We are still level 4 newbie. Got some experience to go, but we got $9,753 out of it. We did not get any damage, which is good because I did not hit that guardrail. I'm very strict about that. I did not hit that guardrail. That is a skill point. I like doing one at a time, so I'm just going to bump that one up. Apply. Thank you very much. And that is going to be it for this video, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.